stackable style, home-based portable energy storage, process of DIY battery. Install for handles and two latches. Before assembly, measure the voltage of each cell to ensure the same value. Place the epoxy boards. Note that the bottom two pieces epoxy boards do not need to be taped. Place two pieces boards at the top and the bottom one epoxy board and one insulating cotton. Place the battery cell as shown on the left. Pay attention to the order and put a piece of insulating cotton in the middle of the two pieces cells. Use M6 screws to lock the front baffle, leaving no gaps. Put insulating cotton on the back of PCB A and B. Notice that board A is on the left, board B is on the right. Please use M4 black screws to fix both ends of these two boards. Place the connector and the terminal and lock the nut as shown. All components are connected and displayed. Insert the terminals of the row into the rubber shell one by one in the order of 1, 2, 3 and 4. Connect the display and the power switch cables of the front cover. Use a torque wrench to tighten the four screws, and the torque value is recommended to be between 6 to 8 Nm. All nuts need to be reinforced with a torque wrench, and the torque value is recommended to be between 6 to 8 Nm. Our new model has added fire protection. Please use M4 black screws to fix the epoxy cover. Place the cover plate with the countersunk hole facing upward and tighten it with M4 black screws. Press and hold the power button for 3 seconds, and the 4.3 inch touch screen will start. For the first installation, there will be an overcharge protection fault prompt, which can be eliminated through the GKAPP. Click on Settings, click on Verify Put, enter the password 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 to authorize. Click Left Pulse to set the battery capacity. Click Details Settings, set Continue the Charge Curve A to 150, click OK, the fault is eliminated. Universal wheels are optional, 
not included in the finished product need to be purchased separately.